Hello, my Aquarian friends. Guiding Halo here. I hope all's going well. What could you do right now? What does Spirit want you to do right now to help you bring in abundance? What do you need to realize? What movements do you need to make? What does Spirit need you to know right now to help you bring in abundance into your life? Illumination. There's some sort of fog around you. Spirit wants you to know that illumination is coming. There's some sort of fog that you're trying to see things through. And they want you to know that if you feel that you've got everything clearly figured out, you have not, there's more going on here. So take some time, allow it to unfold as it needs to. There's some sort of illumination that needs to happen with you. Open your eyes, see the truth of circumstances and situations. Healing the heart. So healing the brokenness within you is going to help bring abundance your way. There's some sort of heartbreak or heart hurt that's happened. And it's created this energy for you of, of like, it, you feel as though you're broken. There's some sort of toxicity around you feeling as though you're broken and you're healing from it for sure. But the divine is doing all of this to heal your heart. Perhaps there's some sort of fog that's lifted. And now you're seeing the truth of a situation. And it helps heal your heart and realize things weren't as terrible as they thought you thought they were. I want to say that someone feels as though a situation was incredibly toxic. I don't know if the situation was incredibly toxic so much as what each party brought to the situation made it toxic. It didn't have to go down that way is what I'm hearing. Tell me about the illumination. Woo, wow. The judgment card. This is the divine blowing the trumpet, calling you home to the truth of a circumstance, things being illuminated, coming out of the fog, you going home, being called to a soul purpose. The divine is calling you. They're illuminating you to what your soul purpose is. There's some sort of healing the heart. So what do they need to do? It's kind of like open your eyes, see things from a higher perspective and a viewpoint. So you can be the creator here. You've been feeling as though things have happened to you and there's been some sort of victim mentality. The divine wants to, you to know that you are the creator here of your life. So what do you want to create? What do you want to move forward with? Something here is absolutely going to heal your heart. There's a wish granted coming in for you. It's a singular wish granted. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Illumination. When you t take the fog away from your eyes and the divine is calling you towards something and you start to realize that you can build and you can create this legacy, this is there's a gift of money or time or something coming to you but you've got to remove that like the fog from your vision there's some sort of confusion around money not seeing the positive in a circumstance or situation your eyes are clouded you're being clouded by a whole situation based on some sort of thing you view as toxic or some sort of toxic uh energy but it's not it's not the situation itself that was toxic it's what each person in the situation brought to it. So it's not that the idea is a bad idea. It's the wrong people were involved. That's what I'm getting. Illuminating to illumination. Wow, the fog is about to be lifted. There's some sort of grieving that has been gone on. And I want to say that you felt it was your fault, but it wasn't your fault. It wasn't ever, it's, it's anyone who's in the circumstance. There was a lesson that needed to be learned here. Anyways, as the fog lifts, the divine calls you to a soul purpose. You're able to build moving forward, but I feel as though there's some sort of hurt here or grieving around a circumstance that very well may keep you from seeing it. Good news, a change of plans. Communication coming from a distance that makes you realize that it wasn't all for naught. Keep your heart open here. Take the fog off your eyes and see the truth of things as the way they are. What did you do to help propel that situation forward? Good news coming in about the birth of a new process. 
new project. This could be your mother. This could be the mother of your grandchildren, your children. Good news coming from a distance. Something healing your heart. It's almost like someone stepping into your your life and into your home in a way that you didn't expect them to previously. I wonder if you're really starting to see things from a new perspective. It brings about some sort of celebration, this healing the heart. When you join with those around you that you love and care about, it brings a celebration. Someone could be having a baby and that baby gets named after you or an older family member or something. A celebration coming around something a heart healed around a mother figure or someone who's very powerful somebody could be going to a celebration of life a family legacy there's some sort of illusion around a family legacy there's definitely a need to open your eyes here open your eyes to a circumstance a truth a decision needs to be made it doesn't matter what you pick as long as you're passionate about it. There's options. You can pick what you choose. But there's good news coming in that's going to help you feel like you're sitting pretty. I tell you what. Yep. Grounding the reading. We have good news coming in. Yeah, there's another good news. You may feel a little bit tired. You may feel a little bit worn. You might think the person's young. You might think they don't know much. But there's some sort of need to be creative here. To get your creative juices flowing. To be open to what comes next. To allow your heart to heal. Allow the good news that's coming in to bring a healing energy to your soul. Great change is upon you. Taking a leap of faith. The divine would like you to absolutely take a leap of faith. What did I say about great change is upon you? Fives are about great change. About It's almost like fighting the change. Fighting it. You wanted it to turn out the way you wanted it to. And, and that in and of itself is some sort of toxic energy, I believe. Angelic message for the left side of things. Angelic message for the left side of things. Take a leap of faith. To banishing the fog of illusion see the value of what you can create if you're an older person it's because perhaps you feel like you your creative days are over you're waiting to die the divine says no 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 you are not you have much more going on here you are stuck in an illusion you will absolutely have victory over this illusion your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work so there's some sort of illusion you feel. I wonder if you feel an illusion that, that nothing's ever going to work. Your desires will never come to fruition. Hence this saddened energy down here. Tell me about the right hand side. There's something to do with family, family legacy. Your heart being healed by good news coming your way. There's support. There's care. The divine marrying you with a, a new purpose for your life. I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. There's a new purpose coming in. This could be a contract. This is contract energy. Okay? So it could be marriage. It could be marrying you to a sole purpose. It could be marrying you to the next cycle in your life, whether you were going to go through it or not. Healing your heart based on what marriage looked like could be healing your heart based on a contract you had with a mother figure. You get where I'm going with this. Many different options. You are a protector from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. You've got to open your eyes here to something around. And if you don't feel as though you can, you need to ask the divine to show you what is going on. Because whatever it is, the good that's coming your way is going to heal your heart. A gateway. See, so you're at a portal of energy to step into the new. It's like a gateway. A doorway is being opened for you that's going to bring beauty and joy and warmth and bounty into your life. This is beautiful energy. Body and soul. You are going to be asked to step into this with everything that you are. Yet again, another five. With everything that you are, body and soul, you're protected from all types of harm. The divine wants you to know the worst is now behind you. They want you to relax and feel safe. But what you step into next, you must do it, body and soul, in order for it to work. You've got to banish this fog of illusion that you have around money and who's toxic based on money and blah, blah, blah. Okay? You need to heal your heart and allow people to love you, allow connection, allow these new things to come in, allow a purpose to fulfill itself so that you can step through this gateway and onto this new new path in your life, body and soul. Let's pull a postcard from Spirit to wrap up the reading for my Aquarian friends.
Dearest you, the common saying, be in the world but not of it, and wear the world loosely, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not being attached to a specific outcome. Do not take this world too personally, for you are one of many co-creators here to play, and we have many ideas about how all of this should play out. Just know, the outcomes don't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through life. There is real freedom in knowing and accepting this. So will you wear the world loosely or will it straightjacket you? It's your choice. This is what I was talking about with your idea of what's toxic. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying, to live as you're meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan. They've totally got your back here. I'm telling you, you're like in a protected bubble of awesome sauce. You have a victory coming in. It's marrying you a contract to the future, but there's some sort of illusion around what's happened in the past. So you've got to remove the illusion so that your heart can heal and you can move forward. Loving you always and forever. Blessings to you.